The UK is only 1% of the world's population, but we've got an extraordinary tradition of science in this nation. We've got an amazing history and heritage in science. It's part of what makes this nation great. And I think people see those big names in British science, whether it's Charles Darwin or Tim Berners-Lee or, or Rosalind Franklin, and think that's part of the really long and really rich heritage that I want to be a part of. Sometimes the British can be very parochial, and we think a lot about the detail. And I think it's that thoroughness that the British have of doing that. They're not working just for the moment. They take the whole thing in context and then try and move the whole field forward. Biotech was actually invented in the UK. The strength of the academia, that's the core. So the excellence in science, the people, the talent, that's what makes the UK such a fertile ground for really running research. The UK has a very strong and proud heritage in pharmaceutical discovery and development. About 25% of the medicines available in the world today were discovered and developed in the UK. What the opportunity is, is to be able to leverage that innovation to turn it into a product so that we can impact people's lives. The world is changing because of the connectivities, because of the ability to network with academics, patients, physicians, providers, payers. It's really all integrating it together to provide the solution for the future. And that's going to be where a lot of new innovation is going to lie, that the coming together of different branches of science. And that's hugely exciting to sit down and have a, a conversation with a chemist about how an enzyme might work from their point of view. And I think that leads to a lot of, a lot of synth synthesis of new ideas that wouldn't happen without that kind of interdisciplinarity. If we want to have new innovation, it's not like a relay race. You don't pass a baton from one person to the other. What you do is you exchange ideas on a continuous basis. And that's what we do with UCB. It's not about individuals anymore. It's about teams, it's about groups of people, it's about fantastic international collaborations of scientists working together to solve the world's problems. The real opportunity is now to be able to work very closely with industry. There's so much know-how within the pharmaceutical industry on de drug development, which you know, I don't have the experience of. So it's that partnership. It's the opportunity of partnership which you've never had before. The future is based around collaboration with universities, with the NHS, with charities, on science, on data. That's the future. Companies need the R&D, we need the companies. It's a, it's a perfect storm for innovation to get better drugs to the clinic. This is the era of science, and I think right now it is the most exciting profession to be in because of the increments in knowledge and because of the good we can do for humanity. The biggest breakthroughs in the last 10 years, it's actually putting genetic knowledge into medicine, whether it's uh, gene therapy, whether it's stratified medicine, or whether it's even starting to understand more about viral and bacterial mutation and how we attack those challenges. The most exciting advances in science over the last decade have certainly been using the huge advances in computer science with the amazing insights we've got from molecular biology and genetics. That allows UCB to be innovative and right out there in front in making new medicines. Technological change means everything speeds up. That means you can do many, many more experiments in your lifetime than you could have done 10 years ago. What's extraordinary about today's opportunities in science is the speed with which we're generating new knowledge in the world. We seem to double knowledge every 10 years. Technology has advanced on a number of fronts, not just biological sciences, but chemical sciences, material sciences, nanosciences. Then you've got technology, IT, etc., etc. 
all of these things have taken off in their specialties brilliantly, but now they're all fusing, they're all coming together. The ability to connect unique patient insights with great science and deliver breakthrough medicines, that's the best that any scientist can dream of. <laughs>